Pastor Steve here. Luke 3, 8 through 11, John the Baptist, they're speaking to the religious leaders who say they have repented. He said, bring forth fruits worthy of repentance. Don't say it within yourselves, well, we have Abraham for our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children to Abraham. The axe is laid unto the root of the tree. Every tree that brings forth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people said, well, what shall we do? He answered and said unto them, he that has two coats, let him impart to him that has none. He that has meat, let him do likewise. Isn't that odd? I mean, think about the religious culture of the day and of our day. Wouldn't it have been better if he just said, don't cuss and spit and chew and, and you know, run around with the girls that do? You know, don't lie, cheat and steal and lust. But John gets into something deeper, into the heart of God, some heartfelt uh, things here that we can all do and that we're all expected to do. Now, I personally am rich. I have been convicted and recently taken several nice coats uh, to a place where people can use them. My wife's closet and my closet are getting larger, and we're taking the things we might wear someday and turning them into something someone can wear today. We've been convicted of not having soft enough hearts in that area. The scripture is filled with admonishment to help those less fortunate out. And there's a reward in doing so. In Isaiah 58, uh, verse 10, If you draw out your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness be as the noonday. Proverbs 28, 27, He that gives to the poor shall not lack, but he that hideth his eye shall have a curse. 1 John 3, 17 and 18, Who has, ever has these world's goods and sees his brother have need and shuts up his bowels of compassion from him? How dwells the love of God in him? Proverbs 22, 9, He that has a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he gives of his bread to the poor. Deuteronomy 15, 7, If among you one of your brothers should become poor in any of your towns within your land that the Lord your God has given you, you shall not harden your heart or shut your hand against your poor brother. See, in these verses, the needy ones are your brothers, not those people. Have you become a follower of Christ? How are you doing in the area of caring for the hungry ones? How many coats do you have? Down in Portland, Maine, uh, this past winter, there were coats hung up on uh, phone poles with a note. No, this is not an accident. This is for you. What an attitude. One that we should all have. Give of our coats to those who have need. Give of our bread to those who have need. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.